Hey, it's Josh, Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt once again. And if you've been following this channel for the last little while, you'll know that I've been using a minimalist training template, which is basically short workouts comprised of just three big compound exercises, a big lower body, and a pushing and pulling movement for upper body. Now, the benefits of this is that uh, it's a very time efficient workout. Uh, you can train with high frequency, so you can get in like three or four full body workouts in a week, training every other day. One of the disadvantages is that the smaller muscle groups may be uh, neglected. So if you have areas that tend to lag, uh, for me, deltoids, uh, I'll be doing a lot of overhead pressing, incline pressing, uh, and chest pressing, horizontal press movements, but I'm not doing any real isolation work for the medial delts or the posterior delts. And uh, as well as other um, areas that you tend to do more isolation work for in a traditional bodybuilding program, such as arms or abdominals, uh, may lag behind. So one thing that uh, I do in my uh, current minimalist training program is include uh, an isolation workout every now and then for those uh, specific muscle groups. So for example, a minimalist arm workout would be comprised of simply a bicep movement supersetted with a tricep exercise. So you could use any variation of a bicep curl, such as a preacher curl, a standing barbell curls, or as I'm doing here, incline dumbbell curls. So I'm getting the full stretch position of the bicep at the bottom and I'm contracting hard at the top. Using a slow controlled tempo, full range of motion, and going for increased time under tension. And I would superset that with a tricep exercise, which again could be in the fully shortened or the fully lengthened position. Uh, here I'm doing an overhead tricep extension, which stresses the tricep in a fully lengthened position overhead. And again, performing a full range of motion with controlled tempo. And I would simply move back and forth between the tricep and the bicep exercise with minimal rest between them, performing about five supersets in the 10 to 15 repetition range. I usually perform a little bit higher repetition range for isolation exercises. So that would be one workout I might perform for arms on an off day or after one of my regular minimalist full body workouts if I had the time. Another isolation workout that I would typically throw in would be for deltoids including a rear deltoid exercise and a medial deltoid exercise, such as uh, rear flies with either cables, a rear fly machine, or using dumbbells. And I would superset that with a lateral raise, again, using either a machine or free weights. Usually four or five supersets and the 10 to 15 repetition range, taking the last set to complete fatigue. Finally, one of the isolation workouts I would usually do is for core. And two of my go-to exercises are hanging leg raises and ab wheel rollouts. So if you've decided to give minimalist training a try, I do recommend that you include some of these very brief isolation workouts in your routine. And again, they can be performed on a day of their own and it'll probably only take about 10, 15 minutes to throw in uh, an isolation workout for arms, shoulders, or core. Or you can include them after one of your big compound workouts or if you're doing uh, high intensity interval training, just throw in one of these isolation workouts along with that. This will help you address any weak links that you might have in your body as well as improving your overall symmetry. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, do post them down below. I'll get back to you right away. And make sure you subscribe for more. Give the video a like if you liked it. And until next time, stay strong.